Hello, my name is Abe and welcome to Inscription. We have a blue loading screen here. We started with brown, then I think we went green, now we're on blue. And we can't start a new game. We're gonna have to continue. I don't know if we're gonna get the, the cut scene that we had at the end of the last, well, VOD of Inscription, but the game has changed. We're in act three, let's do this. Continue, please. You done gawking? We can start. You wanted to replace me. Look at us now. This is Bartopia, a once great technological paradise. It's ruled over by four, uh, uberbots. That's right. And you've got to get out there and beat them. Why? To perform the great transcendence, of course. Doesn't matter what that means, you want it, okay? Um. Get up? No. You've got transcending to do. All righty then. Last save 30 seconds ago. That's perfect. Hello. We are, uh, oh yeah, hold on. There we are. <laughs> Get up? No. We've got transcending to do. So I guess we're not gonna show it, but let's get caught up. We finished act two, we defeated the four scribes, and in the final moments of act two, Poe, or PO3, has, which we can't see, but they're up here somewhere standing across from us, has taken control of the game, just like Leshy did previously, I assume. And now we are in Batopia, which has been taken over by bots or something. And it looks like this is exactly where we were previously. Like this is where we left off. There are the four uh, shrines to the scribes. And now we have a new deck. <laughs> so we're kind of, we're it's like we're in act one, but we're in a robot world instead of the beast world. We have energy bot, shield bot, sniper bot, and double gunner. These cards, it looks like they have energy costs. Zero, one, 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 two, one. We have battery bearer. When a card bearing the sigil is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. The first time a card bearing the sigil would take damage, prevent that damage. Yo, that's pretty cool. Sniper, you may choose which opposing space a card bearing the sigil strikes. That's awesome. And double gunner just does two damage to two units in a bifurcated pattern, okay. I don't know if I can click on the board here at all. Connie says, you starting with the robot deck in act two makes this act easier to understand. With the energy mechanic, yes. Batopia used to be safe for travelers. Now rogue bots block all of the major roads. Okay. I can look right, but there's nothing there. There's a Poe right across from us. We can't get up. There's our deck. And I guess we're going to do a fight. Hello, Poe. You're not used to seeing five lanes, are you? Ooh! Leshy could never pull that off. We have one energy. There's our energy meter. This is our bell. This is our... Uh, kill count. You're going to have a 49er come into play, do one damage, and then move to the right. In that case... The heck is an empty vessel? Just a zero two? I guess we'll put that down. And in two turns, I can put a sniper bot down, which kills the 49er, but it's gonna be a while. There you go. Um, 
<laughs> what what are these? It was this cute little robot friend. Um I guess we'll is this like squirrels or are these just two different stacks of the same deck or something? Automaton. Explodobot. Okay. Um You know? I still can't really do anything. I gotta You need to draw a card. Okay, draw a card. We got a double gunner. I have two energy. I can play an energy bot. It gives us an energy. I think that's permanent energy. I don't think it's like a one-time energy thing. Okay, I love, okay, two things. First of all, I love that there's like a, a holographic gun over the cards. I also love that the explode bot literally has a fuse. And, uh, I guess we have to draw empty vessel. So this must just, this is the squirrel, I, I see. Um, we can play the sniper bot. We can play the empty vessel. I wanna aim sniper bot, but I don't think I can right now. That's fine. Oh, this is cool. I love being able to, you know, target on my own. Empty vessel, empty vessel, okay. So, it's just empty vessels. Then a shield bot, because that gets a kill. And, and turn, and snipe you. Ooh, you fly, I didn't notice that. And we can get a double gunner out. And then we can end turn. <laughs> Bolts are also the currency of choice in this round, I see. One, two, three, four. And this should be solid overkill. Little dollar signs, three dollars. I'm also gonna turn up the volume because it is very quiet here in Botopia. There we go, I cranked it up quite a lot there. The best defense, other bots. You carry a spark that can uh, reactivate old bots. Add them to your deck, you know? Then they fight for you. Okay. Double gunner, gift bot, a me bot. Okay, what are you? The sigils are replaced with another sigil at random. This might be a little bit too loud. Let me crank it down a little bit more. When a card bearing the sigil perish, perishes, a random card is created in your hand. That's not bad. I like the music now that we can actually hear it. <laughs> If it gets loud, I will have to crank it down again, though. Um, you keep putting Mantis Mech in the corner, says the Nor. That was the only spot for it there. Connie says, at least Leshy had a whole campaign planned. I love how Poe just keeps making it up on the go. Yeah, constant, like, stops as it's like, um, you can reactivate old bots, of course. I turned it down again. It's getting a little loud. It's going to get louder, I think, too. I think we want a gift bot. That's acceptable. So we can go back. But there doesn't seem to be anything there. Let's move over. Okay, there's nothing here. You'll need more than a few reactivated r bots. These bots are active. If you truly wish to enact the Great Transcendence, Botopia has some of the most OP items just lying around. That will recharge your energy one turn. Pretty good. If you're smart, you'll use your items liberally. You'll replenish them at a waypoint, obviously. Waypoint? What the heck? And the Norse says, hey, by the way, there is going to be some doxing. I, I, I spoiled myself very slightly by looking up what that means. It doesn't actually... Uh, Dox you, 
when it shows you your hard drive, so I'm I'm okay with that. I just looked up like a picture of what it what it shows, so I know that it's it's gonna be fine. It just gives you a browser. Thank you for telling me though, because that is something that is nice to know, you know. Broken bot, broken bot. It explodes. Okay, so sniper bot's gonna be very good for that. Um we can't draw, because we have already drawn. Gift box, double gunner. The only thing we can put out here is a empty vessel, and there's gonna be one bot over on that side. So put out a blocker, and turn. We will draw... Explode bot. Shield bot's gonna live. How much energy do I have in this turn? Two. We can play a gift box. So I don't need anything else on this turn. I do need to put you here. We'll get a random card next turn. But everything is gonna just be destroyed. <laughs> well, almost everything's gonna be destroyed. We just have to do one damage. Um, we have an insect drone. I didn't realize that was in the deck. Just give me a card. Energy bot, thank you. There's another exploder bot. Exploder bot, exploder bot. Does whatever exploder bot does. Put the sniper bot down. Pass turn. Kill the explode bot. Shield bot's gonna do one damage, but then we can just blow it up on this turn. We have to play something though, but we have, we have bots. I got bots, how about you? Play a shield bot there, and empty vessel there. I guess it doesn't really matter that we play the empty vessel there, but you know, what else are we gonna do? Still only have five energy, what the heck? Okay, put down a uh, insect drone. These don't even do any damage, so just end turn. Sniper bot's pretty good. I've gotta say, I'm pretty happy with the sniper bot. All right, and we are going to, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to do enough damage to kill you, which is not ideal, but that's fine. Whatever. We got a dollar. Don't hide the good stuff, show us the H drive. I've got nothing on my H drive, it's just VODs. Got some cards. 49er, Bolt Hound, Busted 3D Printer. Six energy, eh, the stats don't really make me want this. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, draw a card from your empty vessel pile, vessel printer. So it's uh, it's another kind of tanky card to go out there. And it gives you free tanky cards to play. Kind of like that. Hopefully we get the ability to extract sigils and put them on other cards. The real best way to fight back those rogue bots? Modify yours, give them OP abilities. Okay. Choose a card from your deck. I think we're gonna do the exact thing. In that case, I would like... What if we put two shots on Sniper Bot? Do you think we could target both of them? Energy is easier to get than blood. That's the thing, is that after six turns you get six energy, but you can also get energy from Energy Bot's stuff, you know? Double gunner. Let's see. Oh, we add something onto this card. So we can add spikes onto the card. Defense on the card. An extra battery on the card. No, 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 no. That's not good enough. What about sniper bot? Put this disc in, see what we get. Spikes, flight, and battery. So that, that's all we get. If that's all we get, 
then what I would love is to get more energy out of an energy bot. Extra battery on double gunner sounds OP, says the Nor. So OP, oh my god, it's so OP. Now we'll put, um... Maybe two energy on an energy bot. Can't get it, can only have once, okay. In that case... Energy on the gift box? Yeah, sure. Satisfied? Well, not really, but I'll take it. I want to, like, move over to the side, but I can't. You're almost at the waypoint. Don't choke now. Okay. Mmm! That's fun. Handrails. Or bridge rails. We could destroy the bridge, which is very funny. <laughs> Alarm bot. The creature opposing a card bearing the sigil gains one power. So even something that does zero damage would do damage. Um, hey! Larry DeHooster, thank you very much for the resub. 21 months of top entertainment, I hope so! Kaka, I hope you've been enjoying the garbage that I've been playing for you. Just for you. Give me some of my units. Sniper bot's what we want. Um, put an energy bot down. It'll do one damage. It'll live. Automaton, what do we care? Uh, dude, I'm gonna destroy the bridge. Why not? <laughs> give me, uh, give me the sniper bot. All right, we gotta draw. I'm shooting the damn bridge. I mean, I wonder, I wonder if we destroy the bridge, if we can then jump off the bridge. You know, how does that affect things? I don't know. I'm gonna try. <laughs> now, unfortunately, you're gonna destroy my sniper bot, but, you know, I have other units. After a card bearing the sigil is dealt damage, swap its power and health. Ugh. Well, that's a little annoying. Um... All right, kill you. I mean, I can just put the double gunner there, I think, and we'll be okay. Although I only have two units that can do damage right now, so, you know, we gotta be a little bit careful about this. I am going to destroy the bridge, though. I want to. Which means we need to first play a shield bot. But my shield bot's not gonna die. There's another one! Jerk. I don't think I can do this. Hmm. We... I gotta draw, don't I? Yeah, okay. Oh, so we still have the hammer ability. Okay, I didn't see the hammer there. So we can still destroy a card. Can I destroy the bridge? <laughs> you know, I should have thought about that. Okay, in that case. Hey, there we go. Now we're thinking with portals. Hammer OP. Yeah, hammer's pretty good, actually. Um. Gotta be careful though, because we are going to hit the swap bot. So this guy just has swap bots at this point. A little scary. Um, you know what? Exoskeleton. After attacking a card bearing the sigil perish perishes. Eh, it's not great, just saying. But we can we can put down some stuff as as blockers.
we gotta be we gotta be careful because we're running out of time. But we should kill him next turn. Draw a card. Oops, you should probably just give up. Yeah, now we have starvation, which is actually not a big problem, because you're still dead. It almost was, was bad, though, but we didn't break the bridge. We made it to the first waypoint. Cool. Your items are recharged. Bots that you've destroyed in the area will stay that way. If and when you do perish, you'll be brought back here. It's an elegant system. Hmm. So this is a battery we can reuse. Didn't destroy the bridge. Maybe we could have if we did more damage to it. And your your deck is what it is. Like you can't change your deck at this point. Unlike um, when you were playing with Leshy, where you when you died, you got the chance to rebuild your deck from the ground up. In Act Two, you could just swap your deck out whenever you wanted. In Act Three, it looks like our deck is just permanent. Very interesting. Okay. Central Botopia. Connie says, I wish Leshy gave you the hammer. Well, so that there was a hammer in Leshy's cabin, but it was locked. And it, there was also like a, a wand, I think. Also standard Abe putting the double hitters in the corner. Well, I had to. <laughs> Glorious commerce. Your Robobucks are accepted here. Eight Robobucks, 10 Robobucks for a car? 22 Robobucks for a bunny, 26 Robobucks for whatever the hell this thing is. I have no idea. That's not a map. Insect drone, shield bot, energy bot. Shield bot's pretty good because it can block any amount of damage. Kind of like that. There's a person there. It's the bridge builder who's also now a cyborg. Woof, sorry, turn back. This bridge is totally busted, go back. I'll need time. Beat a boss? That should give me enough time. Woof, yep, still broke. No fixing this thing for a while. This job, yeah, it's gonna take a minute. I bet if you def defeated one of the Uber bots, I bet that would be enough time to finish it up. Woof. Why uh, does she not appear in Leshy's campaign? Gotcha. Oh, it's a pelt we've added to our deck. Okay. Maybe? I don't know. I don't see it there. Okay. Eastern Batopia. Not much of value out this way. Well, except for Leshy's cabin up here and then Grimora's uh, Vault of the Dead down here. Oh, you know, I was I was gonna say I um I don't remember there being a, a passageway down there. I felt like I was lost for a second. It's just because I didn't move the mouse when I clicked down, and it was just right there. There are in fact hidden directions to go in. Ooh, this is interesting. Now I'm gonna have to like look everywhere. Look, look on the map for all of the secret directions to go in. Like jump in the lake. But you've still got ex got to explore here, you know, for the great transcendence. There's another one. It's like we can go around this fight or something. Okay. I think we did just go around the fight. We got some cards, though. Leap bot, shield bot, swap bot. 
Nor says, I kind of hated that mechanic just made you mouse over every direction in every room for the rest of the act. Yeah. He's also flat out reusing the map from the normal game. From Act 2, yeah. But I think that's just, that's the world. In Act 1, we, we played the same, we played the entire game in the cabin. Swap bot is tempting. Swap power and health. It can hit like a freaking truck. Mm. I need another expensive card, I think. All right, <laughs> now we'll do the fight. <laughs> now that I've got another card in the deck. What are you? Alarm bot. You do two damage. Well, that's what we're gonna do about that. Tooth farming. That's the other thing, is that it is just a massive damage dealer. Alarm bot, okay. Um, how much energy do we have in this turn? Three or four? Four? I think we'll just pass. I was kind of hoping to be able to... Nah, we'll play something. But I was kind of hoping to be able to just get the uh, sniper out, but... Bolt Town! You know what? Five energy in this turn. Give me a draw, because I'm just going to kill you in this turn anyways. Actually, we'll do it like this. Now we have four energy. Shield bot can go out there. Look at me, I'm saving room for the double gunner. Unless she's an experienced DM. <laughs> I like that. And... Yes. Look, we're not gonna go infinite and do 666 damage, but that's okay. Are you wondering about that star? You've been winning a lot. Now you've got a bounty on your head. It's sure to attract bounty hunters. It resets when you die. Hmm. Interesting, okay. Well, let's do another fight, I guess. You see the star that was located over this? What the heck? It's rhythmic, so I think it is just a uh, Intentional glitching. Um, teeth even! Get the teeth! We're going to... You're right, Leshy did make his own map. Like, you went through the, uh, the wasteland and the, the snowy hills and the swamp. That's right. <laughs> Broken bot, explode bot. I mean, we'll just play that. Swap bot. Not a big fan of swapping botting. But do we have something we can play there? Yeah, gift box. So we can draw. Although actually energy bot I think is a little better. Yeah. Bolt McHobbs! The name's Bolt McHobbs, and I'll be taking that scalp of yours. Nothing personal, kid. What the heck? I don't think I can stop him. He does so much damage. What I need is I need to block his damage and then kill him with the explode bot. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, what the heck? Okay, uh, how much how much damage are we taking? We're not taking that much. Killing the explode bot will be easy next turn, assuming we draw. Actually, we can we can play double gunner, which will kill the explode bot. It'll just kill the explode bot. Um, that's totally fine. Shield bot's pretty good too. A shield bot would live for a turn. Actually, I like shield bot maybe just destroying the broken bot here, since we can play every we can play five energy of cards. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you go there. You can go there. That should kill Swap. We got a B? <laughs> All right, not exactly what I had in mind, but I guess we'll take it. Um, sniper bot would be real nice to get right now. Do, 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 do. Didn't get it, but that's fine. Double gunner can still get the job done. I'll be taking that scalp another day. You ain't seen the last of Bolt McHobbs. All right, I mean this is a this is a unique mechanic. You, you got to give it to uh, damn it. You got to give it to Poe for this one. Uh, we are doing four damage. I can I can definitely do five six damage. Yeah. I can I can get more damage done. I can. Trust me, I got a plan. It, it does four damage. Okay, well we gotta get the sniper out, which is easy enough to do. Okay, um, hit you, that'll kill you. We're gonna do one damage. I can do two more damage, I can play you. I can play you. Look at this, maximum overkill. Maximum overkill. Sniper carries. Sniper is a heavy card for some reason, but there's like seven bucks. Now what was the point of the side path? There was just nothing, nothing on the side path. Seems interesting. All right. I never figured out if this was just to skip the fight, says Connie. It kind of looks like it. Yeah, you just skip the, the bounty fight. Insect, amoeba, swap. I think another one might be a little bit too expensive, but it does do a lot of damage after it blocks a hit. But it doesn't get five attack. It gets whatever the remaining health is as an attack. Um, random sigil. I, I, I don't really want to add a card, but I guess I have to, right? So sure, give me a, give me a random sigil. Bam. My deck is getting mighty thick of bad cards, though. So what are, what are you? You block flying. Electric alarm clock? What? Not a fan of that. We do have a snipe bot, though, which is very good. We can, we can just put snipe bot behind the guardrails. Start there. That's gonna break some of the bridge, which is fine for me. Let's, uh, we're gonna play the sniper. Give me a, we're gonna play the amoeba. Let me draw, we don't, we don't need anything else in this turn. Oh, we're not gonna play the sniper because the sniper isn't energized yet. Oh, well that's fine, we'll just play you there. That's a bit of a weird play. I, I made a mistake. I thought I had more energy. 
Oh, well, we only take one. Is that a double gunner? You piece of garbage. <laughs> Stop, draw a card. Okay, well. How much energy do we have? <laughs> Three, okay, so shield bot will go out. Here, it'll block two damage. Well, it's gonna block way more than two damage. It's gonna block the double gunner. The bridge moved, <laughs> excuse me? Now we can put sniper bot down. They'll have one energy. Don't need to play anything. Energy bot. Energy bot, energy bot, energy bot, uh, energy bot, energy bot, does whatever an energy bot does. Just gonna put you there, I guess. North says, I wonder if something happens if you blow up the bridge. I would like to try. I got time. Gift box, sure. I figure I have energy, let's just get cards out, right? There. Thank you. Another swap bot, but we've got time. Busted 3D printer. Although, I, I don't think we have the capacity, there's a double gunner, to kill these enemies fast enough. But I can at least break one side of the bridge. Um You know, I guess we can we can play you there. <laughs> not not great, but what else are we going to do? Just shoot the bridge. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll just over. Oh. Hey, sniper bot. I guess we'll just overkill you. All right, draw a card. Should I? Nah, we're gonna overkill him. How's the bridge look? Fine. Unfortunately. Items charge. Bot spawners 100% offline. Lame. The power is dead on this old thing. I'll let you get up if you go get a new battery. Really? You're allowed in the inspection room only. Just get me the battery from the inspectrometer and come back. And spectrometer, maybe? Print progress. Alarm clock. Targeting? Whoa! Ugh, how annoying. The other scribe's junk sometimes glitches in here. Try to ignore it. I mean... Well, hold on. Uh, what do we want... 11 o'clock, right? <laughs> oh, fl flight, empty, empty. It's part of another code. He's gonna force it again? I'm not gonna force it. I just set it to 11 again. Brute force Abe strikes again. Maybe. Hey, how you doing? There's something over there. I can't can't reach it though. I need a flashlight. Oh god, more puzzles. Okay, well. Hmm. Five damage, huh? Blocks damage. Boom, causes this to explode. We do two damage. 
boom causes this, this to explode, we do four damage. Why? Okay. I assume we attack first. Attack, explode, doesn't do anything. We hit for two. Attack, explodes, kills this unit. We hit for four. Should we not be doing like six damage here? Why is this not doing any damage? Oh, because my bot is exploding as well. So that gives us the fifth point of damage that we need. Mrs. Bomb's remote? Sure, take it. Drops bombs on every empty space. Tactical board wipe, don't be stupid about it. So it's another active item, I assume. What the heck is this symbol? Hold on. Do I have a, a symbol board? Can I, I guess the, with the power being off, I can't access it, huh? Well, what do you think this is? It's like a, it's a mage card. What the heck? This one might be a brute force. Hold on. I'm sure we can figure it out. All right, maybe uh, this, once we get the power on, we'll take a look at this one. Oh, there, there it is. Okay, what is that card? Provides a green mox to the owner, orange mox, blue mox. And then what is... Riddle latch, shield latch. What is hostage file dead bite? I don't think I should be reading those. When gem vessels on the owner's side of the board die, they detonate the creature opposing them as well as adjacent friendly creatures and they are dealt 10 damage. When gem vessels on the owner's side die. Okay, so while you have this creature, things will explode. What the frick? Okay. Boom, boom. So this, we attack, you explode. This is owner's side. I'm the owner, right? So we need... Whoops, we need you to have the mox thing, and then they'll explode and just go So we attack, you die and explode. You'll kill me and your friend, which will die. Kill me and your friend, which will die. But you won't explode. We, I need you to explode, killing the three two so we can do five damage, which means Like, I need to have... <laughs> I need to have a mox on my side of the board. You know what? This one will come back to. Oh, I left those things turned off. That's fine, just solve some easy puzzles. Okay. That's a hole in the floor. Select all squares that contain cards. <laughs> Is this a house? All right, well. I guess that's not a card. This is a card. Wait a minute, but it's a, a squirrel and a cactus, or mole. Remember squirrel and mole. Waiting for something, something. We're seeing like through the game code here. What? Hold on. Contain cards. Is this not a card? Oh, that's not a card. That's a card. Contain cards. What is, what is this? These are cards. This is, I don't know. Is that a card? No, I thought it might be the black card. 
is not the black card, this is black. Rotate the sigil until it is upright. Oops, hold on. <laughs> Some easy puzzles, okay. This is a little weird. I wanna get, I thought the power was supposed to be off. I want to get the power turned back on so we can do some of the puzzles. What is this? Ooh. It's like a little rocket drone. Okay. Yep, that's it. Bring it over. Fish bot. Found me. Good. Robot fish hide me. Revenge for last time. Bad fish. Robot fish hide me. Revenge for last time. Robot fish? Do you mean Poe? You know, I guess it makes sense. Well, actually, it doesn't really make sense that the angler's here because none of the other characters talked through cards. It was just the stoat, the stunted wolf, and the stink bug, which were Grimora. Poe and Magnificus. The fact that the angler is in a card is a little new. Okay, well. Hello. Oh, probably over here, right? Yep, thanks. Charging. That should do it. Back to the game. Did that turn anything on? Or did it just charge you up? That's weird. Um, so, flight. I wanna, I wanna figure out this game. What, what was that? Wait a minute. Was that, no! Was that, uh, Goo Boy? Going through the tubes? How do we get him out? Maybe he's in here. I got, we got a free goo man. Okay, how the hell am I gonna kill this 3-2? Uh, I need to read this again. Hold on. When gem vessels on the owner's side of the board die, they detonate. Creatures opposing them as well as adjacent friendly creatures are dealt 10 damage. Gem vessels on the owner's side of the board. Yeah, so. I do damage, you explode, boom, boom. You explode, boom, boom. You exp no, I have to give you this. Explode, explode. How does this not do it? How does this not explode you? There you go. Lonely Wizbot! It's the the dancing shadow. Gem detonators are not gems. Now I figured it out. <laughs> the, ang the angler was a boss, but the angler wasn't a scribe. Previously, only scribes have been talking in cards. Streamer, not a robot. Ah, is it? Who are? Is this stimulation? Something other than darkness. Many thanks. Do with me what you will. Anything but that infinite darkness. I got some cards. I was kind of hoping the goo would be in the box, but there's no goo in the box. Put your goo in a box. And there's still something here I don't understand. And we need to get the battery pack back so we can put it back in the power thing, but for now, Let's continue on.